Welcome to the reading. This reading will be about Tasha Kay. I'm going to be looking into her situation regarding like her finances, what's going on with her marriage, because there's rumors that there's trouble with her marriage, I mean, just like anything that pops up. So let me actually see. And actually, I'm uh, drawn to pull from this deck. What can we see about Tasha Kay? And just like whatever pops up, like what can we see? What's the energy around Tasha K? Situations with um, collaborations. The three of pentacles, I'm going to call it like the regular like names as far as like it being uh, pentacles instead of saying like uh, daggers and disc. So I'm going to say that ahead of time because that's just I'm used to saying it that way. So the three of pentacles is all about uh, collaborations right uh teamwork working together with someone this has to do with work and the fact that the card came out sideways is indicating that there's issues with work definitely issues with work involving sort of just like working together with people things being tense People not really trying to fuck with her like that. And I'm not, like, talking about the obvious, like, a Cardi B, because obviously she never worked with Cardi B. I'm saying, like, whatever her standard is, right? Like, regular people that might have uh, worked with her in the past, they're distancing um, themselves from her. And that's interesting, too, because they say that she says something about um, Beyonce's kid. I don't know if that's true or not, because I don't really follow Tasha K. This reading is just random. But the vibe that I'm getting is, is that whatever she's currently doing, it's putting people off and they don't really want to fuck with her like that. What else can we see as far as her situation? So let's see. What else can we see about Tasha K's situation? All right. The Empress, at the same time, she's a survivor. You see how uh, the Empress fell on top of the Three of Pentacles, which represents sort of just like teamwork and all of that. And I said it was like problems with people wanting to fuck with her, collaborations. At the end of the day, Tasha K is an Empress. She's going to find a way to survive. And this is actually deep because like in the olden days, like prehistory days, like queens, empresses, they found ways to get shit done. Like, even behind the scenes. Because the Empress is a behind-the-scenes energy, right? When the Emperor comes up, it speaks of, like, the Emperor being, like, out there, open with what he's doing. Like, you know, even though he's a boss. The Empress is a behind-the-scenes boss. So this lady, she's a survivor. So it's saying, like, yeah, don't get it twisted. Don't get it fucked up. Whatever she has to do, she's going to do. And it's actually going to be fruitful for her. What else can we see? And I'm also going to be looking into her situation with... um. The whole African situation. There is uh, problems with the marriage is what I'm seeing. There is definitely problems with the marriage because the Ten of Cups landed on the Three of Pentacles and the Empress. This is interesting. There's problems, definite problems with the marriage. What I'm getting is, and I'm going to be real, the husband is kind of tired. I'm seeing that the husband's tired. He's tired with the lifestyle. He's tired. It's telling me with the running. I know that, I don't know, like, allegedly she moved to Africa. Again, I don't know because I don't follow her. I'm going to stop saying that. I'm just going to go with the energies. But let me just say that the husband, he's tired of running. I'm seeing tired of running. He wants more uh, stability. Not just that. She is alone. I don't know if she has kids, but it's telling me she's alone with the kids. That's what I'm seeing. You see how this empress is alone with the kids? She's like, whatever I have to do for my uh, babies, for my kids, all of that, I'm going to do it. But at the same time, I do love my husband. That's what I'm getting saying. That sounds funny. <laughs> but she's like, I care about my dude. So, like, I want things to work. It's tense, though. It's tense. What else can we see about this situation with her dude? And I'm going to get into the world. But what can I see? The Emperor, they're not... Um, what can I say? They're not on one accord. They're definitely not on one accord. There is problems because the Emperor, he came out sideways. And what was I telling you? And this is very deep. And this is why I love, like, using the decks that I use so you guys can see the visuals, right? This is very deep 
because I was telling you that there's problems with collaborations as far as work, and it was telling me with her husband. And look at this. The emperor, he's sideways. It's kind of like it's problems. You guys know, I always say this in all my readings. When the cards are sideways, it speaks of issues. Not just that. It's on top of the wheel of fortune. Things are happening with the fortune of her marriage. That's what I'm seeing. Things are definitely difficult. It was like, I'm going to vibe like before things was happy. Things was upbeat. There's been stress. There's definitely been stress, and not just because that's the obvious. I'm getting there's definite stress on this marriage. Definite stress. It's in regards to work. Not just that, he's tired of running. Not just that, it's kind of like they're growing apart. This is a vibe of growing apart. Not just that, he wants to do his own thing. It has to do with his um, his own success. You see this guy, this is kind of like a, a posture of uh, victory. What I'm seeing is he wants his own victory. He sees her as bringing him down. Not just that. If they do have a family together, because that's what I'm just seeing as a family. It's kind of just like he's tired of family life. He's done with family life. Not just that. This white goat, it symbolizes kind of like wanting to climb new heights. Wanting to establish your own shit. Wanting to, like, stray away and, like, go after your own success. He wants to go after his own success. He wants to go after his own fortune. He sees sort of just, like, the fortune with Tasha K as done. Not just that. It's a deep message. It's telling me it's kind of like he was benefiting from the marriage before. But it's like he's not benefiting anymore. Not just that. He sees her as, like, tanking. It's what's being told to me. Like, just things aren't great. Not just that. She's terrified with this world. She is definitely terrified. The world has to do with um, travel. It also has to do with the airways, right? Like, um, like mobile airways. You know what I mean? The internet, shit like that. She doesn't want shit to come out. She's terrified of that. There's dirt going on in this marriage so i was gonna actually ask like se like separately throughout the reading and shit but since we're on the marriage let me see is the husband cheating what can i see and also i'm gonna ask too like is um tasha k like selling her vagina in africa like people say that i don't know if they say that as a joke but let me just say let me just see is uh tasha's oh yeah oh fuck this is deep right and it takes me back <laughs> i'm gonna bring it up because it's funny like when something like this obvious comes out because we have the uh the three of uh swords the three of daggers it's kind of just like i know someone like in my real life like i had a reading for her and this is in person this isn't like just a client or something like that this is someone i know she was kind of just like i don't know if she's gonna be watching this but if she is it's kind of funny but it's kind of just like she was like oh um is the dude i'm talking to like is he gay like, what can you tell me, right? And it was kind of just like, I was shuffling. And then card after, eight cards came out, right? Four cards came out, and it was four guys. It was like the Page of Wands, the King of Wands. <laughs> it was just like that, like all guys and shit. And I was just like, oh, okay, well, it's not looking too good. And I kept shuffling, and literally more guys came out. And I was just like, from what I'm seeing... <laughs> And just intuitively, I already knew. Like, it told me, like, everything. Like, I ain't going to get into the details as far as, like, like what was happening. But I was just like, it is what it is. Like, yeah, this guy has had sort of just, like, homosexual things happen to him, like, in the past. And it was funny because she was kind of just like, you know, now since I've been dating this dude, like, he sits kind of, like, weird. Not just that. Like, how he talks is, like, kind of gay. <laughs> So I just think it's hilarious, but let me get to, like, back to this reading and shit. <laughs> this, uh, cause I asked, like, is this guy cheating? And look at this, the, uh, the three of wands, the three of, um, swords, excuse me. And it's on top of the temperance. So what I'm seeing with this, cause the temperance has to do with patience. It also has to do with alchemizing. He doesn't have, uh, patience for her. Not just that, she's out doing a lot by herself. Water represent emotion. It also uh, represents sort of just like, 
you nurturing yourself, right? That's what I'm seeing with this vibe. It's kind of just like, yeah, water equals like emotion and shit like that. But it also represents kind of like how you're feeling within. She has to water her own emotions. Like she has to care for herself is what I'm seeing. See how this lady's alone? It's kind of just like she doesn't have his support. That's what I'm seeing. She definitely doesn't have his support. So yeah, he's cheating. He's done with this situation. Let me ask, is she cheating? Um, I'm gonna be real. Yeah, she's cheating. Uh, the three of cups, the three of vessel of vessels, has to do with um celebration. Not just that. When we're talking about relationships, like cheating, the three of uh swords already came out, right? So it's like it can't come out a second time unless I use that deck. But so it's kind of just like when we talk about cheating, the three of swords came out. So that's yeah, not just that. The three of cups that represents cheating also. Like if you ask in tarot, like oh, is someone cheating? So like yeah, there's definitely a third party situation. She is definitely cheating. Not just that, it's with a younger guy. Not just that, this guy. I'm gonna just call it as it is. And it's deep that it's giving me like all these deep messages. He's trying to get a green card. Um, this is a vibe of kind of like, and I don't know why it's telling me like really graphic and shit. It's kind of just like whoever this young guy is, is blowing her back out. Like the sex is really good, but he's lacking. He doesn't have what she needs. She wants a family. She wants a home. She wants to build a home. This guy that she's with, she can't build a home with. So if you guys know who this might be, because, you know, I don't follow her like that. So definitely tell me in the uh, comment section. But it's deep. This situation, it's not looking too good. Will they be a breakup? What can we see? So this is like kind of like the whole reading because I was just going to look into like the relationship. I was just trying to get like her vibe, like what's going on with her vibe and all that. The lovers, they're going to try to make it work. They're definitely going to try to make it work. But look at this, the tower. So there will be a separation. I love this deck. Um, this is by, uh, this deck is by, and I paused because she had to change her name because um, like she was sued or something. Um, her name is, her original name was Jessie Jumanji, and this is, I forget the name of this tarot deck, and I don't have the box near me at the moment, but her name was Jessie Jumanji, she changed her name to Jessie Ujazi, I wouldn't know how to pronounce that, or how to write that down, <laughs> we're all looking at the name, but, yo, so if you guys are curious, this is a very great deck, I love it, I have the first edition, which was, um, different, like the first version, and then she came out with this version, it's really beautiful, actually, the cards, I love it. You know what I mean? I love melanated decks and shit. They're really beautiful. But anyway, um, what I'm seeing with this situation, you could tell, like, my ADHD is in high drive today. So, my apologies. I'm just feeling good, I guess. Even though, like, yeah. <laughs> but what I'm seeing here is they're going to try to make it work. They're going to try to rekindle some shit. Not just that. It's her that's going to be doing it. You see this bird? This is her energy. And you see this bird that's on his side? That's his energy. She's the one trying to initiate shit. She's the one that's going to be trying to start some shit. But it's kind of just like, uh, it's distance. Even if you look at how this guy is looking, she's the one that's smiling. He's kind of just like, uh, it's a half-ass smile. Not just that. If you look at the bird, which represent the guy energy, this bird is actually shouting. And it's funny because I never um, noticed that until I look at the screen and I see that like, the bird mouth is open. It's kind of like, uh, get the fuck away from me. I'm done. It's an energy of harsh words. There's fighting. Not just that. It's telling me that he looks for shit. He looks for, um, like he nags. He looks for little problems. So it's kind of like, let's just say like, um, I don't know, like any little issue. It's a, it's a fight. It's kind of like stupid shit. Like, he looks for stupid shit to cause issues. But, yeah, there will be a uh, breakup with this tower. So, yeah, I'm going to be looking into her finances and all that now. We already got into the relationship, which was deep. I thought it was just going to, like, speak about, like, something else. I don't know. I didn't think it was going to get, like, into her relationship so, so quick. But let's see. Um, what's going on with her finances? What can we see? 
What's going on with Tasha K finances? What can we see as far as Tasha K finances? The devil. Oh, restriction. Now, you guys can't tell me um, I'm a bullshit reader and energies don't come out for me because look at the goddamn cards. They're coming out. We know that, like, Cardi B suitor and all of that dumb shit. So it's kind of just like, you see this, right? Restriction. The devil represents restriction. Also, if you guys would like to have a reading with me, how to go about that will be in the description box. And I also offer celebrity readings as well. How to go about that will be in the description box. My rates and all of that is in the description box. But yeah, her money situation, it's not looking too good. And I'm not just saying this because it's the obvious. You know what I mean? I'm not that type of reader and shit. But what I'm getting from this devil, especially that the devil came out, is that the energies are really harsh as far as her finances. Um, this is the type of shit where it's kind of just like... It's not looking too good. Let me just say that because I'm not trying to offend anyone because life is definitely hard these days and it's just tough. But let me see, like... Will things improve? Will her finances improve? Will her money get right? Will it get better? What can we see? What can you show us? Also, if you made it this far, definitely press the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. God damn. I feel so I personally feel sorry for Tasha K. I don't know anything of her. I know that people hate her. You know, it's kind of just like... From what I've seen of her, it's kind of like, how can you take her 100% serious anyway? Like, you can see that it's kind of, like, comical, and she's supposed to be, like, you know, it's like a character. Like, she's being ignorant, being silly, being funny. So it's kind of just, like, uh, I don't think, like, her whole life should be ruined because of that. I feel bad for her because of that. You know, we know that Cardi B is evil. It is what it is. So Cardi B is always trying to, like, ruin people's lives if she can. So it's sad that she was able to succeed with this Tasha K situation. You know, it's sad, you know, because there's a lot of people that talk a lot of shit, but they don't have this type of horrible shit going on with their money. The fact that things are not going to be improving with her money is very sad. I feel bad for the lady. I definitely feel bad for the lady. You know what I mean? Especially, especially if she has kids and all of that, because... That's just not a good situation. You know what I mean? It's not a good situation. So I'm seeing that her money situation is not going to be... It's not going to be improving anytime soon. I'm going to just put it like that. Um, so let me see. What else can I see with this deck? And then I'm going to be closing with this deck. So let's see. What can I see as far as like Tasha K? What can we see? What can this deck show me? projection there's a lot of fear at this time a lot of fear not just that this is so sad right this is so fucking sad and the reason why i say that and i'm not trying to be dramatic it's just because i feel it like um inwardly and shit she fear she feels a lot of fear and pain right not just that what she feels inside is starting to project in her real life so it's kind of just like let's just say if there's been problems with the marriage which there is right not that she's a saint, but it's kind of just showing me kind of like, you know how she doesn't want things to come out? Things are coming out. It's kind of like, let's just say if she's afraid of like money problems, and all of that, it's like more money problems. Like, let's just say if she's afraid of like health issues and I'm not going to look into her health and all of that. I'm just like, stay away from that type of energy. But it's that type of situation. It's telling me that she's sick. Like, she's not feeling too good. Her health isn't so great. Her money isn't so great. Her romantic life isn't so great. It's a tough situation. And yeah, there's fruit flies here and shit. tomatoes everywhere. All sorts of shit. But I was going to say um, that uh, it's a sad situation. She's materializing her fear. Mm, okay, what else? Also, I'm going to look and see if there's, like, voodoo on her, actually. But I'm going to continue with just this energy at the moment like what can we see about her situation this is her emotion because the card is face down also the card is sideways so it's definitely not right she has an issue with turning in she definitely has an issue with turning in not just that she cares about what people think right usually this card when it pops up i think this popped up in the um i spice ring i did and it came up upright where it's kind of just like you don't care what people think and you're turning in the fact that it's sideways again and this was her emotion. She cares about what people think. She's having a hard time with turning in. So whatever is going on, I think she had an issue with uh, Sukihana. 
It's getting to her. It's definitely getting to her. Sort of just like the rumors, the speculation, what people are saying. Mm, yeah, it's tough. It is definitely tough. I feel sorry for the lady. And I usually don't say stuff like this. I just like um, have the reading. And look at this. The burden. But yeah, usually I just like do the reading unless I really feel something terrible, right? I really feel bad for this lady. Like in my stomach and shit, like I pick up things like inwardly. And it's kind of just like how I feel inside. I feel like shit. I feel like this is like an energy of like being stuck in like swamp water and the water keeps rising. And it's kind of like you're tied down and you can't escape. It's like you're smelling the stinkness of the swamp water, not just that it's green and ugly and it has like frogs and like nasty shit in it. And then like you fear, you feel anxiety and fear and you just don't feel good. That's what I'm seeing. And look at this, the burden popped out. She's this such like trying to survive trying to make things happen it's too much for her it's definitely too much for her like i feel bad this is so bad because i don't think the punishment fit the crime in my opinion you know some people are fucking harsh and shit but the past lives and this is going to be um a deep message oh damn it's not just even the past lives because i was going to get the past lives and the integration but the isolations behind the past lives. What I'm seeing with this past lives and what the energy with this uh, represent as karma, she has karma. Unfortunately, she has um, bad karma. Bad karma. This is saying from like her ancestors, her relatives, her parents, shit like that. You know what I mean? It's it's bad. It's definitely bad. Not just that. Her people weren't destitute, is what I'm seeing. Like, her people had influence. Like, her people were somebody. Let's just say, even, like, if it was in their community, right? Because being someone doesn't always mean, like, you're a Beyonce and a Jay-Z. Being someone can mean, like, you know, like, you just have, like, clout in your community, right? Like, you're, like, wherever her parents might have worked, they were kind of, like, at the top of their field or position. It's, like, something like that. It's kind of just, like, they were people. They were somebody, Right, whoever like raised her, whatever, as far as like her ancestors. It's a karmic situation what I'm getting from this. It's definitely a karmic situation. It's um and I feel bad just saying this because I feel like I'm shitting on her for the simple fact that she's going through so much and I don't like seeing like people go through shit and then just like like layer shit on top of shit. Especially, I don't have an issue with her. I feel like sometimes there are certain celebrities that go through shit and people want me to be sensitive. But intuitively, I don't feel anything. And to be honest, the energy is kind of just like, these people are real shit people, right? With her, I feel like, yeah, she's not a great person. But this isn't sort of like her fault necessarily, right? Even though, like, it's karmic. You know, it's kind of like the sins of the father visited on, like, the sins are visited on, like, the child and shit like that. Like, I feel like this is that type of situation. This is what's going on. It's fucked up. And it's integrating into her life with this integration. Not just that. Look at that. The snake and shit. This has so much um, esoteric uh, meaning. It's kind of like... It's it's going to be a tough cycle for her. It's going to be a tough cycle for her. Not just that. It's going to be causing her to be alone. Not just that. These trials and tribulations are going to be for some time. And I hate this because it's like, it's bad because it's like, I don't know. This is not something that's going to clear out in the next three years. It's telling me seven years. That's what I'm seeing. Seven years of hardship. If she even survives that long. That's saying a lot because it's telling me she's really not in a good place as far as her health and her life. She's being crushed at this moment in time. She's being crushed. I'm going to look and see if um, if there's any witchcraft, let's see, or voodoo, whatever you want to call it. Which deck do I want to choose? I'm actually going to choose this deck. You would think I would go for the African deck, but I'm drawn to this one actually. Is there any voodoo or witchcraft on this lady? What can we see? Or is it just a karmic situation? What I'm getting is no. 
it's not voodoo. I know people might say like Cardi is doing some shit, and some people might say that uh, Tasha K is doing voodoo and karma. Voodoo and karma is doing voodoo. I'm actually going to ask and see if she is. But what I'm seeing here is no. It's just issues with her man, issues with love matters as far as like third party situations with the three of cup, three of cups. Not just that, this three of swords. This rain. It's just like raining. It's kind of just like. This is just her season of severe pain. She's in her season of severe pain. It's like the divine is handing her a cup of severe pain. This star, and I know the star represent um, a wish granted and all of that. When we talk about uh, witchcraft and we're asking shit like that, the star is a whole different meaning. It doesn't mean witchcraft or any of that. What I'm seeing here is that she's actually protected from uh, witchcraft and all of that. So I don't know what her bloodline is, but this is just what's being told to me. That she's not receptible to that. So I know people try to make it seem like Cardi B is this powerful chick and all that. What I'm seeing here is, is that let's just say even if Cardi has that uh, influence or whatever, it has no effect on Tasha K. That her ancestry, her bloodline, and she's protected as far as that. So, yeah, but what I'm seeing here is that, no, it's just her season. And it's um, pain with her relationship and relationships. Not just that. A lot of people are backstabbing her at this time. Like, people that she celebrated with, people that she was cool with. And some people might say that this is her own doing. I don't know. I'm just looking at the energies, you know. I'm seeing that people are definitely backstabbing her at this time. Like, people that she fucked with, people that she celebrated with, they're kind of like, like the husband, finding an excuse to kind of, like, pull away from her. So, it's a tough situation. I'm going to ask, is Tasha K into witchcraft? And I'm actually going to use the African deck for this. Actually, I'm drawn to use this deck again. So, let's see. Is Tasha K the one, like, doing witchcraft on people? Voodoo, whatever you want to call it. So, let's see. Because usually when people go to Africa and shit, people get all, like, paranoid and shit. Be like, oh, you're using witchcraft and blah, blah, blah. So let's see. Is uh, Tasha K invoking dark spirits, witchcraft for her benefit or whatever? What can we see to hurt people? What can we see? Um, I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real. She's paying people. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, damn, that's fucked up, actually. <laughs> yeah, she's paying people. And it's funny because I felt it intuitively, but I decided to ask anyway. I just wanted to see. But yeah, she's paying people to cause some shit, to do some shit. Oh, yeah, she's in line with some weird shit. Oh, yeah, for conflict. Oh, yeah, she's trying to go after her enemies. So Cardi is definitely an enemy, so... <laughs> She's definitely using her connections, her bloodline. The mar marriage, because this is the four wands, it represents uh, your bloodline, right? It represents kind of like um, a marriage between families, right? When two people marry, it's supposed to be a marriage between family, between the bloodlines. Nowadays, there's so much dysfunction and so much, like, instability as far as, like, people and families and shit that there's really no families for some people. It's kind of just, like, two people getting together. But the classical, like, meaning of marriage it was supposed to be, like, marriage between bloodlines and family and shit like that. What I'm seeing here is that, yeah, she's definitely invoking um, her bloodline. And what was I telling you? That witchcraft doesn't work on her. Like, the voodoo shit, it doesn't work on her because of her bloodline. So it's kind of deep. She... She's connected with some shit. She's definitely affiliated with some shit. And this is really, really deep. Because when we're talking about, like, um, witchcraft and voodoo and shit, I forget the name of the exact uh, instrument that was used for, um, like, blood sacrifice and shit. I want to get, like, gruesome. But it kind of looked... There's different ways of doing it, right? But, like, um, with particular tribes, I believe it's called a mace. I could be wrong. I don't know the name of the instrument. My bad. But it was kind of like a big stick, kind of like this. And what they would do is they would tie someone to a rock and literally, like, beat the life out of them until they died and shit. 
like right it was some dark shit actually and i couldn't speak about like which tribe tribes and shit was affiliated with it because i don't want to offend anyone but it's fascinating that i'm seeing that here and that's what popped up not just that we have the uh five of wands so you see again it's telling us what it is because this card popped up and i felt it intuitively and then it was just like yeah she's definitely paying people not just that she's using her own bloodline and her own connections not just that a tool for destruction not just that the five of wands to seal the deal so, I mean, yeah, she's definitely involved in some deep shit. So, I mean, hey. And again, I still don't feel bad for her. And this is why I don't feel bad for her. I know people are going to hate me, right? And be like, fuck this dude. But this is why I don't feel bad for her. Because it's kind of like she's acting from a place of fear. That's what I feel intuitively. Remember how I was telling you, like, the swamp water and all of that? Like, she felt like she's about to drown and anxiety and all of that. This is for her enemies. This isn't for just, like, I want to hurt people. I'm not getting that. I know people say, like, oh, she likes to go after people and all that. That's just people being, like, extra and trying to capitalize off of, like, shit. Like, Sukihana, and I fuck with Sukihana way before she ever became famous. Like, like I knew of Sukihana. Like, Sukihana is, like, really intelligent, really smart, really beautiful, and, like, I fuck with her. You know what I mean? And I don't even judge, like what she's in you know like she's just surviving so it is what it is but it's kind of just like even though i fuck with sukihana and i love her song uh blame trina i think that song is fucking hilarious as fuck that song like that song was so fucking funny when i heard that shit you gotta hear that shit like it that shit put like tons of smile on, smiles on my face like every time i hear that shit because like that shit is like ghetto brilliance like i think it's like a great work of like art you know how like people talk about music being art and shit i feel like that's a great representation of like ghetto art like suki is a genius right but i feel like i say all this to say again my adhd and i didn't even have coffee or anything i was i say all this to say that Suki was being kind of just like dramatic because she was all like oh like you know sometimes you hurt people and all this bullshit it's kind of just like the type of lifestyle Suki's living, like, on some real shit, like, let's not be stupid, right? This lady, she, like, hoeing herself out and shit, and again, I'm not judging, but it's kind of just, like, this chick talking shit for, like, laughs and shit really didn't hurt no goddamn Suki Hana. She's just kind of, like, jumping on the bandwagon of, like, being on some fuck shit. But let me go to this deck and see, like, what's up. What can we see? The last deck and shit. What? Yeah, whatever is we need to see. I'm not going to even ask, like, the future and all that. Let's just see. This bat gives me an energy of fear. All right, since these two cards flew out, and I'm actually going to go from the top of the deck. Yeah, I'm getting um, a situation of fear. And look at this. Remember how I was telling you that she's going after, um, like, she's going after her enemies? Take care. Enemies are working against you. Take care. Enemies are working against you. That's deep. Because it's kind of like... There's things going on behind the scenes. And what was I telling you? People are turning their back like on her, against her. And it's deep because this is stuff that that's beyond like the celebrity world. This is like real life shit. You know what I mean? Like... This is some real life shit. This can be like your car salesman. This could be like your, I don't know, like just different shit from your lawyers, from shit. Like that's what I'm getting. It's kind of just like people that should really be fucking with her are kind of like working against her. She just has an energy of bad luck, of bad karma. Not just that, when I seen this image, because I like to read the image first before I even get to, like, the uh, wordings and all that, it's an energy of fear, this bat. It's an energy of fear. Not just that, look how the bat uh, is kind of, like, pushed against, like, a wall, pushed against a rock. You know how they say, like, a rock in a hard place and being cornered? She's cornered by her enemies. And that's why I really wasn't judging her so bad, because I feel it. She everyone's just shitting on her she's having a tough time and it's sad and i know people are kind of just like oh like and i want to make this point because people are like oh like you do bad things bad things happen to you that's not always the case people because there's like four-year-olds that fucking get cancer 
that have to get like a leg or arm amputated, you know, to fight the cancer and still die at age six and shit. Like this shit happens. There's nothing that baby could have done to deserve that shit, right? Now it's only the most high like who can judge and all that. So I don't try to cross no boundaries, but being in the position of a person, it's kind of like, what the fuck? So it's like, this lady, she's just having bad things back to back happen to her. And I know it's kind of like, I hear like the horn honk and shit. And I know that the energy is kind of just like, stop fucking protecting her and shit. Like, just let it be. But, and again, I'm not a corny reader, but I don't know why. I just fucking feel bad for this lady. I just feel bad for her. A temporary a temporary situation. And I'm getting it has to do with her marriage. It has to do with her home. It has to do with even the little comforts that she experienced. She experiences. Right? It's kinda like let's just say if she experienced drinking wine. Let's just say if she experienced going to a restaurant. Those are small comforts. It's telling me that small comforts are being taken away and going to be taken away. It's tough. Let's hope these two last cards get better for her sake right? Elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. So, I mean, that's all great and stuff. That's great, you know, like, you know, but pain is pain. It's kind of like, um, I had something like my own shit going on. It's kind of just like, like with betrayal, right? And it's kind of just like, the energies was telling me like, okay, well, like, yeah, you were betrayed and shit, but it's kind of like, you know, now you know, and it helped to, like, make you grow, right? This is what my own guys were telling me and shit, because I'm a person, obviously, so I have, like, my own shit that be going on, and literally, I ain't gonna even get into it, but I was kind of just like, what the fuck? I was like, that's all cute and shit, but I was like, that doesn't, you know, I still went through the pain, I still went through the hurt, like, like, I don't really fucking care about that, like, I just want shit to be right, especially, like, when something's done so, like, shady and shit, but I mean... Hey, I mean, I guess that's great and shit. She's going to be a wiser person after all the fuck shit. <laughs> uh, keep your life in balance. This is a message. This is a message for her. I'm going to look at the little fruit, uh, fruit fly and show my hand. This is a message for her. It's telling her that, yeah, bad things are happening. But during this time, she's being um, judged. I'm seeing that she's being judged, so she needs to watch out. If she, obviously she ain't gonna see this reading, but if she does, I would say that she should stay away from the witchcraft and the voodoo and shit and all that. Even though she feels like that's what she wants to do because she's in a tough place and things are going crazy, that she's being judged by the divine, and the divine wants her to keep her shit in balance, right? Stay away from the negativity. It's telling me turn a new leaf, bring positivity into your life. Because it's saying that she's spiraling into negativity. Not just because I know the witchcraft because of the reading, but it's just telling me, like, she's spiraling into negativity because negative things is happening. And it's kind of like, it makes me think of, like, that story in the Bible. I couldn't say the guy's name because I don't know. But it's kind of just, like, where he lost his family and his cattle and his home and all of that. And it was, like, a test to see, like, what is he going to do? But he still gave, like, props and worship to the Most High. So, like, God restored him right? It's that type of situation. It's kind of just like, yeah, this is a time of trials and tribulation, but, and this is just what I'm getting. I'm not even trying to be corny. It's telling me that if she find, finds balance, finds peace, she'll be restored tenfold. So, I mean, I'm going to leave the reading here. That was actually really beautiful and deep, and hopefully this can be insightful uh, for people that might be going through shit in their own lives, right? Um, I would definitely, I usually don't say this, but I would say definitely, like, share this reading and shit. This might be, like, insightful for people. Also, definitely press the thumbs up button and take care of people.